Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sports Factory Podcast. We are in the NBA world now. Got a different background too. The NBA podcast beginning. Oh, my man came in right on time. So you know he 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 know hey, right on time, Mauricio. What's up, my man? Yeah, we just started the pod. It's the NBA podcast. So the NFL, we pushed the NFL to the side. We'll be back NFL. NFL draft and free agency will be back. But right now, we NBA All-Star break ended, so the NBA games are starting today. Or this come out tomorrow, so they started yesterday. Whatever. Regardless, we go talk about some basketball. But first things first, I didn't want to I, I, I want to bring this up first, right? Because we four of us watched the All-Star. I don't know, Harris, I don't know if you watched the All-Star game. Uh actually, I don't know if any of y'all watched the All-Star game. Y'all might not watch that at all. I watched a little bit of it, right? <laughs> that, that booty cheeks. Was awful. And not only was it awful, but there was NBA legends that went into the back to talk to the players to play harder. And they all, like, especially Luke and Jokic, they said, I don't really care. I can't even understand what you just said. They did not care about anything. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty wild. Well, thing. Just... <laughs> they, they didn't care about nothing that was coming out their mouths. 211 to 186 final score, bro. That game need to be hacked. I'm like, they need to hack that game. They need to take that game and just put X's on it. That it got worse. It got worse. They they went east versus west to make it better, and it got significantly worse. Um, what y'all think? Do y'all think they should just cut this game? Do y'all think there's a way to save this game, or do y'all think they should just cut this game? Just have two NBA All Star celebrity games because that was way more entertaining. Oh hell no, the damn! But you think the you think the you think the celebrity was more entertaining? I want to see fucking lame ass Micah and CJ over here scoring thirty and shit on fucking That's, singers. My man, my man was scoring thirty. Singers. My man was in there. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that, I got everything. My my MVP CJ Stroud scoring thirty. I mean, it's just natural. But uh, no, I think I think it's a lot more fun. Like, because I mean, the whole like the whole point of the All Star game is like you want to see the best go against the best. And that's not what happens. It's not the best against the best. It's like, damn, I'm just going to not play defense and just throw up threes. Half-court threes and layups and dunks. And it's not even entertaining layups and dunks. It's just like... It's like a, a, is this a big-ass layup line, bro? I might it's be so able to annoying. just play. They're playing... Bro, when they play 21, I was like, come on. Honestly, I think they should adapt the damn Rising Stars, like... A method that they try this year with the multiple teams and playing shorter because I don't want to see fucking twenty four minutes or what is sixty minutes of that. That that was uh, this is utterly ridiculous. I don't know where we messed up. Um, just both sports, all sports. The the All Star games used to be like one of the most fun times for as a kid. Pro Bowl is a flat football game now, and then like basketball. I don't get it. And then they're talking about like, oh, uh, we we have more money. You don't need no more money, bro. But they're making 40, 50, I, I mean, you make, you're making 40, 50, 50 fucking bands, bro. Who, nigga? <laughs> Who? You already complain about like the season Divas. game. Divas. Divas, bro. I don't, bro. Damn, these motherfuckers are just soft, bro. I don't understand. Like, <laughs> like it's Yo, fucking but a kill little, talk. This, this is my thing, and I, I don't know. They're not going to do this, and obviously this is not an original idea, but I'm going to tell you like this. If the All-Star – and I don't know. They, they, obviously, logistics hurt this, but if the All-Star game, East versus West, if it was like baseball back in the day, and y'all have already heard this. If it was baseball mm. back in the day and the winner gets home court in the finals, that conference gets home court in the finals, bro, they going to lock – in Jason yeah. Tatum yeah. and all the boy Giannis, why they, they lock in. Hold on, Jason. Why would they lock in? Why would why would Trey Young lock in to get why guaranteed would, home, home why court would ta- advantage? I'm Trey Young is at the bottom of the fucking what East? Why, why is he locking in? Hey, look, look, why is the AC in? The AC why last is, year, the ninth seed AC, the play in team Miami Heat made the finals. You never know if y'all okay, he's winning and now you playing games. They've been, Denver, plot, they've been having plots since COVID. You ain't got plot, uh, uh, Atlanta. You know you ass. You know you ain't gonna be there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or like the Jazz. You know you ass. You it, Atlanta. Play. Atlanta's got the Migos in 21 and Savage. Like, so like they can't have good teams right but now. Like, but like, let's be real. Like the the home court, the home court advantage we're playing for is for the first two seeds, and we already know who those are gonna be. I mean, we we don't know who the second seed gonna be in the East, but it's pretty locked in for the West. The, I just feel like the energy, like if Giannis is locked in because he's trying to, or you know, Jason Tatum, a couple of them locked in, 
you're naturally just going to be by that and be locked into. Like, if people taking it, because all you need is a couple people to take it serious, and then the game's competitive, and now everybody's taking it serious. And, like, you know, the, the NBA is, is, is more open than the Golden State days when it's just, like, we're all sent to die. We're all about to get sent to the Death Star. Like, in, in, in realism, like, there are, you know, the Celtics, the Bucks, the Sixers, they had Embiid, even though they got no plot. You know, you got to maybe the Lakers, even though, you know, the Lakers were the seventh seed, made a conference finals run. The Nuggets, your Mavericks, a couple of teams that have a shot. You know what I'm saying? The Timberwolves, the one seed, you know, Thunder. Like, there's more teams that have a shot to really do something. So it's like you might get yourself a 90 to 87 final score. Lock in just like everybody just in it. Defense, game seven type. Now, that might be too hard, though. They might be playing too hard and somebody might get injured. But I just feel like, you know, that would be yeah, very interesting. What you said about the injuries, that's 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 really like another thing, especially for like the top of the top. Like we're talking about like the Tatums, the Giannis, Lillard, all them. Like they're not trying – The one reason why they're probably not going hard in the All-Star game is – just because, like, after the All-Star game, they got the tail half of the of the season, you know, trying to get good seeding. Like, nobody's trying to get hurt in the All-Star game trying to go too hard. So it's kind of like – but then that's also kind of like defeats the point. Like, you want to see the high – you want to see the highest level players playing at a high level, playing seriously. But I guess in their yeah. mind, well, that's what the playoffs are for. But Well, then let's start yeah, disvalidating – all star, like you know, how we, we we pull up somebody accolades and we list all star. Let's let's disinvalidate it now. Let's because the Pro Bowl, they do have yeah. Pro like Pro let's Pro let's let's, let's start Pro like Pro. I'm sorry, LeBron. If you're getting picked, you're not playing. Like or hey, LeBron, like, LeBron we let's, we, too. let's get, let's get the Halliburtons. Star. Let's get the Trey Youngs. Let's, let's get let's get the young and up and coming. The people who you know, because that's why the East won because it's, they have more people that it's their first time being an all star. So they actually took pride of being there. KD. Uh, Luca, Jokic, all of them, y- y'all can just sit on, y'all can ride the bench the whole game because y'all not gonna play. Like, y'all can, you can, you can get your tally and just sit on the bench. I mean, you don't want to play it regardless. So let's, let's at least get a show. I mean, we just, cause we're just saying fuck you to the fans and bro, that's a, that's yeah. messed up. Like, that they're, they're, they're really that. going this above and beyond. Like, and they're this selfish and they're getting, it don't make any, it don't make any sense. Like, let's go back to the nineties. They were making less money and they had more pride in like not getting injured. And now the trend of us making more money, the the we players' interest goes down. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> like the entire tied all. And That's funny, you know, like need- let's let's start disinvalidating. Let's let's get let's get some more hungry players in here. The the the, the snubs. Let's get them in here. I bet they hey, appreciate Mauricio, it. What's your Mauricio, What's your thoughts on this? What's your thoughts? I'm. I'm really just thinking like maybe they need to maybe they need to switch to a format more of like the NFL where it's um like how they do that not One not like game? postseason but like like just moving the 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 time of the all star because oh. the because the all star like especially for the NBA like I'm thinking if it was in Houston like would I want to go even though like I'll see like you know, all the, the best players in the game, like I would not, not yeah, want to really go. Like I'm not, I'm not yeah. going to, it's, it's, there's not really a selling point. So I think they need to, they definitely need to change the format. They definitely need to just make it. Um, I kind of like, uh, I know it, it's not really that popular, but I do like that the NFL switched to flag football. Because uh, yeah. it's, it's just, it's a, it, you're seeing the same players, but in a different environment. But it's still familiar enough that you'll be able to obviously follow every every play that goes on. So maybe if they could do something like that, like if they could do like some some one v ones or something, they would like never one v one bracket. They used to do that. They did that. They would never. You're right. They used to. They used to. Do that. Yeah. They don't do that no more. Like, 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 that, like something. Pride, boy. Yeah. Take that's out the fucking pride, boy. Take out the fucking dunk <laughs> contest and put that in, Mauricio. I, I hey, if somebody get if somebody get crossed up, boy, I don't know uh, the, they probably gone. Twitter going crazy, but they. I mean, yeah, that. Like, that'll they, be exciting. Didn't, didn't someone say that like they were they, they were getting interviewed and and someone said one of the players said like oh they don't want to do anything because they're scared of of getting made fun of. I think someone yeah. said that it is sure. split up it, like guards, wings, and bigs. Oh, that'd be lit. A big like, on a big. Jokic versus Embiid. I finally Jokic versus Embiid. This should be hard. They it's like they, you're they getting paid know. millions if if Twitter if Twitter clips and memes get to your head like come on like I wouldn't have Twitter you, you're not at their play, level I wouldn't, Twitter, I wouldn't have Twitter you're not I would have someone run my social media though. account no I would exactly. have someone run my social media account yeah I'm you not have a social media manager exactly but like, I would have what them if, do that what if, what if somebody takes a shot at you and like 
Like that's that's the perks about it. You, and you can like KD can directly like say something. Hey Brian, Brian. He still don't directly do it though. He got his burners. <laughs> <laughs> he, he be doing it from his, he, he, you know, he got them too, but he he, he still do it. He, he, he got exposed, so he had to do it from his regular account too. But yeah, yeah. I have I have someone else. Hey, I pay you money to do all that. Be my be my guy, bro. Because I can't, especially in the playoffs. Like if you have a bet, especially if you a Laker, if you a Laker and you a role player Laker, you can never have Twitter, bro. You can have one bad game, boy, in the playoffs, boy. They 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 tech they finding pictures of your house. They finding where your house at. This, this is where you live, right? I just need to make sure this is the address. I can't be though. I can't do that. No, 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 no. I, I can't have Twitter, bro. I'd be scared for my yeah. life. To be honest with you. So, <laughs> I mean, one, one so. thing I would say: Would we all agree that like professional athletes, not just NBA players, but they have kind of like an ego to them? Well, you have to, and it's like, yeah, they need to. Have it's like, yeah, you if you you have that ego, but yet some of them they're allowing people on on Twitter that they don't even know to affect them enough to not want to do like a a, a dunk. In the dunk contest, or try harder in the All Star game for getting clowned, you know. Yeah, it's but I mean, like, you, can be, you can still be insecure yeah. with an ego. Like you can still have a complex yeah. where it's like, "Damn, Katie. I'm the best. I don't even want the chance for anybody to say that I'm not the best." Yeah, they're, they're sociopaths. So why would I, I mean, believe that's little Timmy, that's the uh, that's a custodian, telling me I'm ass? Like, you know, like they're gonna they're gonna take hey, hey, i guess it, it can go both ways yeah. hey don't don't be talking about custodians and shit i mean dennis rod rodman like, if hey, got one of those <laughs> out there. it got good plot i'm just i'm just i'm just like that i'm yeah. just comparing like the metaphoric you know ego like how like much they look down like on when people talk shit about them but y- y'all remember this all-star game 2020 all-star game right that's the best all-star game i have ever seen because they had the rules with the you know, first of, first of 24, yeah, the fourth quarter, first of 24, whatever it was, because, you know, after Kobe passed. And them boys in that fourth quarter locked in. That man Giannis went to full defensive stance, full block on LeBron. <laughs> Look, I was in it, boy. I wanted James Harden to hit the game winner, boy. And then Kyle Lowry kept drawing fouls, kept pissing me off, too. I was like, well, what the – I was locked into that game. Now, they, uh, they had a kind of anticlimactic ending because Anthony Davis just hit some free throws and just like, you know, they should they shouldn't let you hit free throws. Either. You should be able to hit a basket for that. But look, they that was a that was a great game. Now, they changed those. They changed the rules and they just made it East versus West regular scoring. But y'all think they should bring that back? I know they did that for a couple of years and it had some good ones, had some bad ones. But it's just like, I don't know. Maybe they did that because anything Kobe is better Brown. than anything is better than this. I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's going to like. Like uh, entice the players. It's it's all starts with the players. Prison no rule. It all that's, start. That's true. It all start with Adam Silver. Adam Silver being. He's got to bring the hammer people. down. Yeah, he got to bring the we hammer need, down. We need some David Stern, boy. David Stern was on timing, boy. David right. Stern was. Boy, he was not playing about nothing. You better be on your best behavior. He would have found. <laughs> he would have found the, the entire like roster, even the coaches for what they displayed. I would have too. I'm. I'm. Well, what you didn't put no effort in. And the biggest, like, one of the biggest stages they're going to have. And then, Mauricio, with you, you moving it. The only thing is, I don't think you should move the All-Star break because playing 82 games straight with no breaks, that's going to be tough on the product, yeah. at least. Yeah. Yeah. These fools yeah. complain about this. That is true. Yeah. I mean, they could, but and, they could and just they're take already a, complaining. They could take a break March Madness week. Though. But, you yeah. you know, they, they ain't going to, like, just take a break and have nothing going. I mean, uh, I'm why not? I mean, you got bye weeks in the NFL. I mean, you could have but the a bye week. weeks are, are are like spread March, out, but but alternated. When, I know, but I mean, with, football on the bye with, week. March, with March Madness, everybody's watching college basketball. So the that's NBA the doesn't want doesn't like the NCAA. <laughs> they they stay money. You think they're friends? I know they're, <laughs> they're not friends. But the best business decision is okay. Well, I can either spend all this money on this thing that doesn't make me any money, or I can also just take a break during a week where I know no one is watching the games anyway. Yeah, I mean, you you see that across a couple of sports like soccer. They'll have summer breaks, winter breaks. Uh, Formula One, they'll have a summer break. So you, you can hey, see Bruce, that. Bruce, um, so, mm-hmm. I want to ask you, uh, who bigger diva? Who's a bigger diva, NBA players or soccer players? I'm just curious. Soccer. Yeah, I, just want, I just want to confirm. I just want to confirm. <laughs> oh, dude, I watch so much soccer. It's soccer players 100%. Damn. I mean, these, these NBA I mean, players, what a, a what, yeah. in what way? Because 
So he was, I, he was sure, like, like if they're diving or like stuff. D, like that. Yeah, so that way for sure. But I think that the top, like the top tier soccer players, like Holland and all them, Mbappe, they have a bigger complex about them where like their ego is so big. I mean, I think I just watched. Messi, there was a player down, and he just like in a game in a, instead of like stopping or anything, instead of stopping or anything, he literally just like tossed the ball over his body and was like, "Nah, fuck you, I don't care, I'm Messi." And like the amount of money that they're making, but the money that they're making, they're they're Saudi kings. Like I just think that the the ego and everything when it comes to soccer players and even just the diving is a lot worse than. The NBA. Uh, you think the, I think the NBA are dangerous. I, these these fools think, don't want to play think, in front of fans, but they'll do it in the summer in rec leagues and shit. I think that's the biggest f you. Yeah, LeBron be on hard them. But what's the, the league going hard? Going hard. He can he can tear his ACL in the Drew League boy. In the, the Drew, Drew League, the boys be sweating. Ah, <laughs> the boys be sweating against bums. <laughs> wait, the boy, damn, that's um, crazy. Damn, dude. Wait, what? do me and Mauricio need a soccer podcast? <laughs> Y'all can start one, bro. Y'all. <laughs> hey. <laughs> But look, hey, these NBA players, bro, the 65 game rule, I thought it was a very fine rule because I was like, obviously show up to work to do to get paid to not to get paid, but show up to work. Actually, it does affect they it affects their paychecks and pay. also for awards like that just makes sense to me. Right. And usually most major awards, you have to play around over 65 or more games like that's If you just look at history, that's just how it is. Well, you know, I know Draymond Green, he was complaining about that. He said that, you know, it shouldn't be a thing. And I'm just like, bro. Like, but what what do you want, bro? Like, you know, you make all this money. Do you just want me to give you money for free? Like, bro, like, can you please stop complaining about everything? Like, I have to show up to work to get paid. You can only have so much PTO, right? You know, so when people like you abusing this power, you getting paid. They get paid so much money. It's literally like they're literally like the richest people ever in history. Like you, they, it's a better chance. They will not find people like them. The only people they'll find that's like them is playing with them and their boss and not they not they coach. Cause they make more than they coach, they <laughs> owner. That's the only people mm-hmm. that make more money or the same amount of money as you that you know. Just period. So and I didn't, like, what? I right. didn't get it at first. My my wife was explaining to me like that too. But like they only play like five months out of the year to begin with. Is let's let's start there as well. And it's okay. Maybe like I understand like what he's saying like a little bit. Draymond, get rid of the back to backs. I think the back to backs is maybe the biggest. Uh, injury, but other than that, sixty-five games, and you get you get like like you said, we don't get paid unless you we don't get raises. That's probably one of the most important things is attendance, and that's really the only thing that the games are like affecting is which is the awards, which can qualify for you to get a supermax. I'm not going to pay somebody who doesn't show up to work. Why do you think you deserve three hundred and fifteen m's for barely showing up? But what is this? You 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 are turning that is that is children. Thinking that is literally children thinking. Yeah. Like, well, come on. I mean, it, it, yeah. Go ahead. No. no, I for me, like, I I can't even listen to anything. Like you just said, like the back to backs. Like Draymond said, biggest injury risk. Biggest injury risk is playing against Draymond Green. Um, <laughs> so I can't even <laughs> take that. Yeah, man, he did look that. He did that. <laughs> no, nah, for real. He got that straight yeah, phase. He, he did this yeah. blast. But that man learned none. Yeah, <laughs> I never no. forget. <laughs> I, I, I think I think it makes sense completely. I mean, it's like, are you gonna see like in the NFL? Let's say, like, if a player misses three games out of the season, most likely not gonna win any awards other than like comeback player of the year. I, yeah, Carson Wentz. I remember Carson Wentz should have won an MVP one year, and, and, and that's, yeah, he didn't because Tom Brady because he got hurt. And Tom Brady, yeah. and like yeah. the the like the percentage that they're asking for for them to play is is the same as that it's like what is just, that what's 65 divided by 82 what's that percentage who can do that math someone someone do that math what how many percentage of games is that to be played 65 out of 82 is that like 70 if i'm 60? guessing that's like 75 percent 79 80 about 80 percent and what's what's that what's showing up if you show up 79 percent to your job do you think you keep me on like seventy nine percent of the time to your job? Do you think you keep me on job? You're gone I mean, in, a, in less than a month. I'm at my job one hundred and twenty percent of the time. I literally am working free <laughs> overtime, like, and I still don't get no goddamn raise. And these people getting raised off potential. They get raised off potential. Oh, like, say it again. Flash it. Oh, you had a nice. Oh, you had, oh, you had a nice twenty games. 
you, you had a nice 20 game streak. All right. Yeah. Here's your, here's your rookie. Here's your max rookie extension. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you I'm scored. going to get better. You scored 40 points while we were the last seed at the end of the season. <clears throat> Damn, bro. You got right, you need a tanking service. You mm-hmm. dropped 45. Oh, he, he has so much potential. It's like, <laughs> and it's you get paid anything. more money than most humans have ever seen. Like, not even human communities, <laughs> like communities of people have ever seen. And you telling me, that you have a problem, bro. Like you, you, like if you just dumb it down, you're playing basketball. Now, obviously, basketball at that level is harder, right? But it's a game nonetheless. It's a child's you're game. Playing, <laughs> you're playing a game professionally. You're living a dream. You can get any, almost any woman you want. You can buy almost anything you want. You have invest. You can invest that money, and you will be set, and your family be set for like ten generations. Like you are, you have a privilege. This is not. This is not a right. This is a privilege, right? And mm-hmm. the reason why y'all making all this money is because of us, because we consume it. That's the reason why you make this money. So, why are you holding me? <laughs> like, why like literally, holding? why are you holding me? Like, like you was deserved this from the beginning. Like, like, <laughs> like you don't even show up, bro. Like players back then, like during Michael, Michael y'all getting paid ten times. Like some, some of the twentieth best players getting paid probably five times what Michael Jordan's making, which is crazy. Do you yeah, think you deserve that? And it's like, you, yeah, especially with the increase in you cap, like a starter, a, a good starter in today's NBA is making about 25 mil. Like, yeah. I should have played more basketball. Don't let him stay in Texas. He's taking what, 70%, 80% of their own? Like, don't let yeah. you be Bradley Bill. You just, man, just Bradley, Bill, oh Bradley Bill, he just got bad. He get it every year, bro. My man ended every he year, bro. Option in two years, that's going to be like 57 mil. Like, bro, the, the man, the, the Dame, is, Dame over here talking. I'm not running from the grime, and then over here getting paid yeah. 63 at the same fucking time, and then requesting a trade. I only want to get traded to the Heat. Nobody got 63 million left in cap, but you want to get traded? Nope. I found a ground with the other day, and I was happy. And Jalen Brown out here, that man can't dribble with his left hand. He got there. Hey, that boy, he, he should get docked half <laughs> his damn pay for that damn say, performance bro. he did at the fucking dunk contest. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man. Man. five a five foot Kai. Hey, that man Shannon oh, made him sit down, down bro. And he, <laughs> and he was sitting. And <laughs> he was sitting. Shannon cooked him. He sold he it. it deservedly so. That was, that, but that was disgusting. No, was he, like, he, he ain't cooked. Dan, well, he cooked Daniel Brown, but he cooked Kai that even more. I was like, boy, wait, 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 three feet tall, bro. Like, <laughs> the, the fact that they made the dunk like even like just more just outrageous was like the fact that he tried to do the D Brown thing, but like he did it. He too did it late. after. It's like, bro, it's like he was too scared. Yeah, if he had executed properly. All right, you did jump over, but okay, reenacted the dump. But then he did it late, like, oh, because like, he didn't trust himself because he knew he was gonna fall, <laughs> he was gonna miss that. Like, oh, like, we, we all saw that. It's like, and hey, babe, that's the reason why a lot of these stars don't want to do it because if they do something like Jalen Brown did, then everybody cook him on Twitter and now they pride hurts. So. But no, 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 fuck that because Jalen Brown is not even a good dunker. Like, I don't even know why he did, did it in the first place. Like, Lewis, is the reason that they don't wanna, Lewis is the reason that they don't want to do that. shit. Why, yeah, but they, they, they listen gonna, to him, they show you, <laughs> you gonna cook them, you gonna chef Ramsey, they ass on Twitter. I already know, like, Man, bro, that was, when you do and then, like, oh my god, the damn, the him damn him. judges are not even. Not I told you they only had four five buttons up there 44, 46, 47, 48, 50. That's all the buttons they had up there. These motherfuckers, yeah. fit 40s and 50s. Are, I'm like, bro, what after the second, after the first try, which was which mind boggling to me, bro. Jalen Brown, that shit was fucking terrible. Look, I'll tell you, that was a fun night, even though it was a lot of, like that. That <laughs> that shit was a fun night. That was, I, I had fun that night. It was a lot of stupid things I was watching. But that, that, that was definitely a fun night. How do you um, fix it? How, how do you, you fix, fix the dunk contest? Um, put some yeah. trampoline so they can go a little bit higher. Do some more. No, because yeah, then gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna get injured. <laughs> I, I think, think I don't think you can fix it. I don't you think, think, I think you can. I think you you can just have like a, a, a like a pool and just get take in like so whoever wants to do it, they gotta send like a dunk con, they gotta send their dunk highlights. Like them dunking, stars and all, and you can cut. Like you can, you can, you can, you can start cut whoever you want. And we don't need. I don't think you need to go for stars. I'm telling you, the best dunkers don't even be stars. It be. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Recruit him. <laughs> right. Now, Levine like, and Gordon. Levine and Gordon weren't stars, but they. But I knew when Levine came into the dunk contest, I was like, I know he's a, like he's a, a bouncer. Like, 
Yeah, he's, he's a high flyer. Right. So I knew that was gonna be fun. And then when Aaron Gordon came in, at first I didn't expect Aaron Gordon to be doing that. I thought he was just gonna be like power dunking it. But him when he's jumping over people sitting down like nine feet in the air, that's yeah, the that's best crazy. dunk I've ever seen. That's literally the best <laughs> dunk I've ever seen. I, I mean, I that, that dunk contest. Honestly, honestly <laughs> that, when I watch the dunk contest, it makes me want these motherfuckers to like what like do high jump, bro. Like, like do high jump. You can just get a gold medal and then get a bunch of money for no like doing like half the work. I think Dwayne Wade ruined it too because Aaron Gordon probably been another dunk contest if he won that last one, but he didn't. He got that man. He jumped over Taco Fall and got that man a nine. Yeah, and I don't believe. For whole day, I don't yeah. believe LeBron <laughs> ruined the dunk contest. I'm going I don't believe LeBron ruined it. I mean, he didn't do it, but I wish he was in it though. But I, I, mean, I wish he did it too. But like, it was star when when they when we wanted him to do it. It was stars doing it though. That's my problem. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, who's the last? Who's the last? Superstar level player to do a dunk contest, like superstar level player. Maybe Dwight Howard, and Dame? that it might be, it might be Dwight Howard, but Dame, he did do nah, that. He, but he not he well. But I don't think it. it I guess also that's awesome. when, that when he competed in every event that day, he did like he broke like the record. Yeah, that, that I you know I can't remember good, what he did. Man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I can't remember what he did. I, I, I forgot he did that. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. To you. <laughs> But, <laughs> okay, oh yeah, DeMar DeRozan, I think he did it too. Like Paul George. Paul George was remember Paul George, he turned out the lights and no. he was he was in oh, neon no, they, on some boots. They, they they did it, they did a they did a team dunk contest. I remember it was John yes, Paul, that was Paul George. That that's the, they they did that. Lame. That but I mean, yeah, yeah. That was lame. I don't know. They they it's it's tough. It's rough. What did y'all how did y'all <laughs> feel about uh how did y'all feel about Steph going against uh the WNBA player. I love that. That was, I that was love probably that. the best, that. the best event of the night. I, I was hoping Sabrina was going to win. So, <laughs> you, know, you, know what, you wow. know what I'm thinking about though? Instead of doing like East West, you do all stars for NBA versus yes. all stars WNBA. Because oh, then, man. like, imagine you don't lock in and you don't cook those WNBA. Oh, we got to fry your that, ass. That, that's something to prove. We gonna fry Kaylin, your and, ass and here. Clark gonna drop <laughs> yeah, they, they're gonna be, gonna be they're gonna be playing hard. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's how you. Right. Fi- that's how you fucking. Fi- I just fixed. It. Oh my god. We can we can bring in horse. Adam we can Sil- bring in get, get Adam Silver on the what, phone right now. Horse? No, no, this, what, this, no, 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 dunking, no, no dunking. No dunking. No dunking. But that's a good idea because like they gonna they gonna play. They trying to. That's good marketing for them. Number one, because they're out there, right? And number two. They got something to prove, yes. and if they are gonna play so hard, if they drop off these, they drop out them boys. Number one, they are gonna be me oh, for forever. They gonna be me. Oh, they gonna, for all it's eternity, gonna be memes boy. all over there, bro. So, that, nah, that see, was, this is why you need. This is it. why you need like other players. See, like LeBron and them, they ain't gonna compete today. They ain't gonna risk their uh their their their, their, their image losing to you know like to a dummy every play NBA player. That's why you need to go get somebody like uh you know somebody up and coming. Maybe to make sure Lamelo. Lamelo would do some some goofy shit like that. That's that, bro. <laughs> like the more the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm thinking like the amount of shit that gets talked about for the WNBA. If if they did a game like that for the All Star break, that would be incredible. Just because for both sides, yeah. just because then we get to watch the players actually play for the NBA, and, and then the WNBA, the WNBA. That's good marketing. <laughs> Good yes. marketing because they get more exposure, and oh my god, why has this not been done? Because we got idiots at the top, bro. Okay, well, I mean, they, they the could top, try. Honestly, it's probably the, the players' association would probably not want to do that. Who, who's, I mean, the, just, who's, the, who's the president? Is it CJ McCollum? No, Chris, Chris Paul. Paul. Chris Paul not there no more. Chris, Chris Paul. Paul. I don't think he's. I don't oh. think he's that no more. I don't think he's that no more. Well, yeah, because you know, remember, they, they said, if they uh, get cooked, they fucked. <laughs> Yeah, they say they wait until he got washed to yeah, give C- out rings. CJ McCollum. They, they <laughs> yeah. give out rings. The All Star game, they wait till Chris Paul washed. He still get get on ring. Even, but Chris Paul, I love his plot. That man plot so awful, and it's so funny. I I I, I love that. I want I want to divert. I want to ask this question. I saw this on Twitter, and I need y'all's opinion. The Mount Rushmore for the most iconic, or influential, better word, influential NBA players. So we're not talking. What's the best. Mount Rushmore? We're not talking about best. We're talking about influential what is the mount rushmore for the four players that changed like, the game we the define influence though and i'm going to tell you mine which will help you determine yours most likely so i say on my mount rushmore i have michael jordan 
He the main character of all main characters, right? That's the guy. I have Steph Curry, three point revolution. The whole league is jacking up ten more threes than they did like five years ago per game because of Steph Curry shooting. Uh, I say LeBron James, that player empowerment stuff. That all started from a man when he did that thing from Cleveland to Miami. It kind of almost low key might ruin everybody, but it's doing his thing. And then number four is a tricky one for a lot of people, even a little tricky for me because I could say maybe Allen Iverson for his cultural impact. Um, but I'm putting, I'm gonna put Magic Johnson. I'm putting, hee hee, I'm putting him because Magic Johnson, them boys were on tape delay before Magic Johnson came in. And when Magic Johnson came in, the finals, the NBA, all that exploded. So those are my four most influential players. Those are four players that need to happen in the NBA history for it to be where it's at right now. We we agree on everything but one. Yeah, there's, magic. there's gonna be always one. The magic. magic. One? Yeah, yeah, the magic one. So I, I agree. It's it's LeBron, like not in any order, but LeBron, Steph, Jordan. For me, I think it's Larry Bird. Because I think Larry Bird. Bible, that's I th- funny. I, I ain't gonna say the joke. I was gonna say <laughs> the, the, the reason. The reason I, there's a no, reason I picked. Right. There's a reason that I picked Larry Bird over Magic. Okay. It's because okay. Larry Bird showed a generation of players that you don't like. That being from the country and like being in like certain situations, like living on a farm. He's a farmer. Even you have the chance to be <clears throat> incredible at basketball. He showed a whole generation this, and. I mean, to this day, Larry Bird. When you when you see the interviews with like NBA players that played with him, they're like, "That's the biggest shit talker that I've ever heard in my life." And they'll be like, that's, <laughs> "They'll be like, that's the first shit talker I've ever heard talking a country ass accent and get to." Me. <laughs> you fucking trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you trash, motherfucker. <laughs> Nah, he tell you he, what he's gonna do when he do it. It's to you. it's Larry Bird. Magic Johnson is is close, but for me, it's just Larry Bird because he showed like, I think Magic Johnson and LeBron had a similar thing with the player empowerment and knowing what you're worth and like knowing what you want. I think mm-hmm. they have a similar thing. I think Larry Bird just showed a generation of people that like no matter where like I came from the farm, like you can come from anywhere and play basketball, like. It, it doesn't matter. And like a lot of players have done that, but like who comes from a goddamn farm? So mine is, uh, I got mine's a little different from y'all too. Uh, first, I'm gonna start with the obvious MJ, uh, revolutionized just a number 23, and his shoe was probably like the most iconic basketball, you know, streetwear. It is, urban, it is the most, what yeah. they call it. Yeah. They're like literally the most iconic. They keep doing it. My next guy that was gonna be somebody that's gonna shock you probably Shaq. I think Shaq's probably the most influential because from a business side, he's a powerhouse. Yeah, and I'm not, not mad only at that. because he not only does he sure. invest in companies, he's like the spokesperson of companies, no matter his age. He, and every, he's on what general commercials, Papa John's, uh, like he, he, everything. That man got pregnancy test. Boy, he on the printers. <laughs> His bag is crazy, and he and he he does he's in the comedy side. So like from a business aspect for an athlete in general, Shaq is very influential. Uh, obviously, I'm a I'm gonna put Dirk. Dirk is probably one of the most influential, <laughs> of course, for the for <laughs> basketball being uh, reach European. reaching the Europeans, Born. and also he's the reason why we're now having uh. like uh one of the reasons why we have like big man shooting, probably the reason. And now, like you can't like at least touch the court unless you, um, you can move for one, or you got you have to be able to shoot. You have at least a, like a solid jumper. And then Steph, uh, Steph, Steph's impact is like beyond. This man has changed. Like everyone panicked <laughs> when he came into the league and immediately went to the high racing and fast tempo and just chucking up shots. Basketball influenced your team, where y'all just missed so many threes and didn't even take a damn midi. Like y'all was too scared to you know take a foot in. He just showed like how efficient. Like oh, just chuck up the three instead he of the long He has to take two. a shot at you at any chance. <laughs> no, but no, I'm I'm gonna tell you this. Though. I'm gonna tell you this. Though. No, I'm just saying like it, it, it did have an influence on him though. And and, and, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this though, it, they originated from Mike D'Antoni's sons. The three. Yeah, 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 yeah. But right. yeah. they didn't have the plot for success. The Warriors, <laughs> the first team that showed that you can have plot and shoot these threes. We just followed the sons. We just fall and just hyper up the Suns essentially, <laughs> but it didn't work because we can't face, you know, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson two most efficient, and then Kevin Durant. Yeah, all right, man. Who's next? <laughs> Who's next, bro? Before I get into a tangent, Austin uh, or Mauricio? 
I had a pretty much pretty much the same list as you, Jesse. Um, mm. Michael Jordan, obviously, you know, we've stated over and over. Um, and Steph Curry, of course. Um, you know, you just go to any basketball court nowadays and the kids are all pulling up from deep, deep. you know, it's, it's just Already ridiculous. Um, LeBron as well. Um, I think uh, especially with what you said uh, about the super teams or, you know, assembling, going to a different team and, and teaming up with other superstars. I think the that's Beatles. very, yeah. very, um, very influential as well. Um, and then uh, honestly for the fourth one, it, it's, it's a toss up for me between, um, like you said, magic. Um, and I think it's, it's kind of tough, but Tim Duncan. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pull a, a Lewis. Um, I mean, can we put coaches in there? Maybe I'll put Pop up there. For, nah, for no, no, no. I bet you gotta um, put these players. What? What about AI? You, you think? You think? AI, people, yeah, people say, for sure. People say AI. Definitely. Yeah. The hip hop culture in the NBA was. Yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. from him, but he's my own little baby. And, and he wouldn't. And David Stern was trying to stop that so much, and he was not giving that up. That, that man crazy. released a whole album. He had a whole album. He was about to release. <laughs> David Stern said, "Do not release that. You're not releasing that. <laughs> you cannot release that That's album. There's crazy, no way you're gonna bro. ruin my product." <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So you say Magic? You join? You join the Magic side with me? Um, probably Magic. Yeah. I mean, I. You could also put Kobe there, in my opinion, because for about seven years. All I heard people saying when they took a shot of anything, whether it was paper Kobe. or Kobe. gum, anything thrown into a trash can to a basketball hoop, it was Kobe. I remember Kobe. I heard a motherfucker say that shit when he was throwing a football. And I was like, <laughs> okay. I couldn't even say anything about it. I was like, yeah, Kobe, like you're going to make it. <laughs> Yeah, F it, Kobe. That, Kobe means like F it. Like, yeah, I, I don't really care. I'm gonna shoot it. And but three people on me is fine. It'll go in right. Uh Ozzy, how are you feeling, bro? Who's your four? Yeah, so it's pretty much similar to it's I think it's a combination of what you and what um Lewis said. So for me, um, of course, you know, touched on Jordan. Um for me, yeah. So Jordan, uh LeBron, Steph, and so yeah, it was those three, and then yeah, like the fourth one's kind of like a toss-up. Um I would lean and I would lean towards I would lean towards Shaq, like really mm -hmm. just in terms of like, especially like at his peak, like how he just dominated the game like on the court, like when it was like him and Kobe, like that was just something I don't know, like not necessarily like maybe like influence wise, but just in terms of like impact on the game. Like I think those four guys and with LeBron and the player empowerment and ultimately with LeBron, he's like the ultimate he's the ultimate floor raiser of talent in a way. Like you look at like what he was doing with those Cleveland teams, like those eight straight runs and stuff. And even like, like the end, like the tail end of Miami, when the team was falling apart, he was just like, he just is just give him four guys. And he he's like in his prime, he he's going to take you there. Now you may not go over the top, you know, because of the competition. Can't that but, can't but, 10 straight that years. Boy. 10 straight yeah. years. So um, and then, you know, of course, you know, Steph, like he's just fundamentally changed how we changed how we play the game. Like he's a, you know, a system unto unto himself. Like it's more than just it's not it's not even just the shooting on the ball, but it's, it's you know, it's the off ball movement, it's the cutting, the finishing. Like He's always even at even at 35. He's still he's not what he used to be, but he's still playing at like a like a super he's still main character. Still yeah. still a main character, boy. You still got to hey, he's going to you know, going to be on his list soon, right? Mauricio Wemby, right? Seven foot tall, <laughs> two threes, got handles. Freak oh of gosh. nature, eight foot wingspan. Oh, he's gonna be, be on this list, huh? You get ten my, years. My boy Dirk got the most iconic fadeaway. Everyone's incorporated into that game now. Ask KD with the one leg high create space. Better ask somebody. I hype you, man. I feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel better, bro. Hey, um, Dirk. You know, as the All Star break is ending, right? I'm curious. I don't know how how much you paid attention to the NBA. I feel like Austin, you paid attention more. Um, what's the let's, what's the top? Who's the top ten teams in the NBA, bro? You tell me, like who are, who are the ten teams? Because it's it's very different. Minnesota being number one, I know they plot gonna fall apart. I know, I know, 
I, I could see that happening, right? I, you call it the towns of the postseason, bro. Like I don't, you know. But yeah, who who who's it? Who's the ten teams, bro? All right, it could be in, it could be in no order. Just it could because obviously I feel like it'd be even harder. All right, all right, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll just I'll just I'll just go at the top. So you know, all right, so we got Boston. Okay. Yep. We got, we got Dem- no plot. All right, we got Denver. <laughs> yep. They got plot. Okay. All right. Milwaukee. They got plot. I mean, they 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 they're up even with yeah, it. Yeah, they're shaky. Very shaky, but yeah, Milwaukee. They got, um, they got, they got yeah, Min- yeah, of course, yeah. Minnesota and OKC are the um, they got no plot teams. Um, the Clippers, they have zero plot. Uh, oh my gosh, they plot in the trash, boy. Continue. Let's see. I can, I can see that gonna fail. They gonna fa- they should be in the finals, low key, but they gonna fa- it's, it's gonna be catastrophic. But continue. So let me see. So I, I said Boston, Denver, Minnesota. <laughs> Where's the uh Clippers? Who else? Who else exists? What about the Suns? Where's the Suns at? Phoenix, yeah, but they're they're top. Like Bradley Bill is just not. He's not. They're not. They're not available. And then even when their team's available, they have three high level guys. And then Nurkic, the Banks, yeah, the Banks, yeah, the Banks, Josh Okogi. It's kind of yeah. like, um, but I mean they're up there. Um, Phoenix. Uh, what about Cleveland? The Cleveland Cavaliers or New York the boys. Yeah, New York, New York. Oh yeah, hey, my, boy New York by Maurice, boy. my boy just skipped over the Cavs. I mean, I, I don't, I don't believe in them as a as a as a playoff threat. Like they're like, yeah, they are the, they are the two seed right now. But I don't. That's very impressive. Yeah, like, yes, yeah. I'll think they depending on the matchup, they might win around. But I don't, I don't. It's, what if they match up with the Knicks again? Because they could have given them again. That was, are they, are that they getting something in? I don't think they're gonna that get was beat up. last year. That was crazy. Bro. I don't think they're gonna get beat up like they like they did last year. So it's, it's a different team now. With um, they like they have a lot more shooting now. Like they yeah, brought in, yeah, yeah. they brought in Niang. Um, and then of course you, know, you got Mitchell. Hopefully, I know Evan Mobley just got back from injury. Um, he was out for a while. Wow. Jared Allen was playing. About the 76ers. Yeah, I, think I know Joel Embiid. That. I mean, what's it, what is Embiid coming back like that? Because they're not a five seed now. Like they are. Yeah, like, they're falling. Yeah. Like, Tyrese Maxey is. He's good, but he's he, he not he's, good enough. Yeah. Yeah, like you need Embiid is what can make them competitive. So I think uh, that's pretty. And uh, of course, you can't you can't forget about Miami. You know they. Oh yeah, they the underdog always, spot. Yeah, they they're always just there. I don't think I don't think Boston I don't think anybody Boston Cleveland um Milwaukee I don't think any of them want to see. Nobody in the top 3 wants to see Miami in the first round. Boston That's will it. somehow see Miami though. Like somehow they will always <laughs> see Miami. And they they, they, they got a psychological hold on them, bro. It's, it's, yeah. it never fails. Yeah, so I they mean go 7 every time. Every time. Yeah. So that's pretty much a boring 7. <laughs> yeah. It didn't turn up in game 7. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much. Um, those are pretty much like the main. Um, the main and team. it should be Celtics Clippers if we're just like on just like talent and just like if the if, the, if plot didn't exist, right? If everyone had a fair shot <laughs> and things just made sense, it should be. Do you think they can beat the um, Nuggets? I mean, the Clippers and like if things they're not going to because they got no plot. But Kawhi Leonard. A healthy Kawhi Leonard. No, healthy MF Kawhi is, 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 is an Leonard MF for in the postseason. Give you a shot. Yeah, he can get uh, yeah, yeah, he's MF. very deadly. <laughs> and James Harden as your third option. Okay. That's Harden a your great, second or your first? Because, yeah. boy, my man, hey, last year my man was second option. Boy, my man had nine in game seven. I said, dang. He going to be in the strip tough. club on, during those games, though. Oh, he in L.A. too? That's fine. He going to get some good stuff. <laughs> All right, wait, speaking of that, too. This is different. Ten players. These ten, think of ten players this year. Their legacy, or like, let's go top ten. We're actually gonna do this in a row. Who are the top ten players whose legacy is like on the line? Like they have something to gain or lose. Their legacy is on the line this year. Number one, KD. Oh man, going hot. Jason Tatum. <laughs> I was. I would have. His number you. two. Yeah. I'm. Oh, I'm gonna cook his yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. He, if he don't get it done, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna fry his ass. So I'm gonna right. fry his. All right, best main love name. All right. Oh, he just said that. He just said that. But he, he's saying for Taylor Rooks, right? Yes. Yeah. But that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, Taylor, Rooks, Taylor Rooks and uh, Joy Taylor starting a podcast. So. Yeah, sorry. Hey, you can't be on that. But don't be on that podcast. These NBA players gonna be they gonna be stuttering, or they gonna say they're gonna win ten of them. I want you to watch me. Go watch me courtside. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, yeah. yeah. But uh, so, yeah, I got Katie, then Jason Tatum. Um, 
Um, what about let's see. Um, but mm. Mm. we think about we think about Harden. We about the whole Clipper crew, really. Harden, Harden, Harden needs it because he been he been switching teams. Yeah, yeah, Dame, he been switching team and he chasing his ring badly. So Dame a good one too because he went to he went Dame to Milwaukee. Sure. Oh yeah, Dame. If Dame, get, if Dame get knocked out the first round, oh they gonna look ugly. It's gonna look ugly. Yeah, Dame and yeah, Dame and both of them. Both of them. Yeah, Giannis is on uh. Because ever since that chip, oh, y'all fraud alert. <laughs> is, no, I'm saying ever since the one chip, Giannis he's is right. Crazy. Ever since that chip, bro, they've been looking mightily different. Gone through no, but like that chip was plot because you look at all like Katie with his fun line, and then the uh Ben Simmons don't want to dunk on uh Trey Young, so now they're facing the Hawks rather than the, the 76ers with Embiid. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, and then you face Chris Paul in the finals, bro. Like Chris Paul 2 0, like, come on now. It's not they're gonna lose four straights, Chris Pauner. I mean, so, really, yeah. if he was healthy, number one really would have been Joel Embiid. Uh, if he was playing, but he's not oh, playing most inside most because he's the only one in the top five most like definitely. players who ain't been to a conference finals, which is terrible. Yeah, it's so oh, wait, what, what does a championship do for these players though? What about like people who've already won? So, like, what, what does a championship do for Jokic? Oh, he's he's definitely like top 10. I'm Just arguing my uncle, him. I'm arguing my uncle for real. <laughs> he's he's all time. They be disrespecting this man. <laughs> they be yeah, disrespecting. Man. Be, yeah. yeah, and if, oh, about, if, if they repeat right. this year, they might be like that. They might just be the perfect the franchise. Yeah, they might just be a team like in the West. Like, yeah, well, Austin, you said you said they they you favor them. I remember last year you said they, they, there's nothing that can really stop these boys from repeating. Some similar to that. You were very confident that they're going to repeat um, after they won their first championship. You were very happy to see that Den- Denver was a really good team for you. So, do you think, like, from what you've seen this year, do you think they're gonna, like, that's very realistic? I mean, I think the biggest threat to them, like, really, like, the only team I think that really scares them are, are the Clippers. And, and they got no plot. Maybe Celtics. Maybe <laughs> Phoenix. Boston. And you Boston. know. And you know. So. Boston. Oh, if it's I'll- Nuggets. It's- Y'all if it's Nuggets about, Celtics, what? the Nuggets winning. I'm we should have right gotten Nuggets Celtics last yeah. year. We should have. And, uh, and I, I, the Nuggets I, I winning. Like this year. I'm not opposed to that. I'm not saying Nuggets. It may. Nuggets, it may. That, the Nuggets I winning. Be, yeah. I swear. The Nuggets winning. Yeah. yeah the superstar Jokic, always wins. Jokic is the best player in, on the, in the The super. The yeah. superstar wins, and Jokic he gonna win that. Um, hey. what, what is the championship do for Stephen Curry? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh! Is he better than everyone ever? It puts it puts him in like where people start. Adding him more often into that conversation. Well, he's like top five all time. Yeah, yeah. He, he, Especially with the team he got now. Yeah. yeah. Mag- at that point, Magic. Yeah, he definitely number one point guard. Steph will be number one point guard. Mm. Steph is. Yeah. They firmly. They are firmly the ten seed right now. So that would. Be- <laughs> that, would <laughs> so, yeah, that, <laughs> that would be. Yeah, that would be, that'd, that'd be like a Lakers run, but the Lakers last year, if they got it done. Mm. What about LeBron? He gets number five. He's a goat. Years ago, if he can do that, fucking forty years old, like come on, like, <laughs> forty. And and then like he adds, like didn't like his points record will literally be untouchable. I don't think no one else will ever touch that. Record. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, but what, what if what if they win? AD is the like MVP. Like AD is the reason why though. Still, <laughs> still. I mean, that was the whole. That was the whole point. Like, yeah, AD at this yeah. time it should be AD. Should be and he's actually yeah. playing. Most of the, he's actually like been pretty available this year, but yeah. you know, the team is just okay. yeah. Ron was so yeah. so I want to take a different route with it, and instead of like legacy, I want to say future, because I think this season holds a lot for Deere and Fox's future on the ability to lead a team. Oh, I'm talking about the Kings. You think? Are you, did you talk about Kings and Finals? I think this is still too soon. I don't know. I don't know. I, this is too, I, too soon. I, uh, even <laughs> even if he doesn't reach the finals, it's uh, oh, I these think guys. Be, <laughs> I think the Warriors this year give him give him problems like this. That's. But I mean, but didn't they beat the Nuggets this year? I mean, this is regular season. Anything can happen in regular. I'm talking about. No, hey, we, hey, we we beat the Nuggets, but we beat yeah, the like, Nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, but I'm saying you beat them like three times. Right but yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm yeah. just saying, like, uh, in an overall standpoint on future, because, like, we were talking about legacy and everything like that, even just getting to a conference finals, like. You think they going to move on from him or something? They ain't going to move on from him. That's no. all they got. That, I, <laughs> mean... I mean, they got some bonus, but that's <laughs> Honestly, they got. it should validate them of, like, actually making a move this summer. 
Like going to get I don't think like, they're gonna do that. If like if if it play out like we play out, I think Donovan Mitchell may leave. I think New York. a guy like uh it was one more Trey Young is on the block. Oh no, well, no, you're not trading for Trey Young, you already got a point guard. But you need a wing. Like you need to go get a wing. Bad. Yeah. Harrison Barnes is yeah. not it. <laughs> the whole thing Keegan Murray can But I mean they should I don't think they should have gotten rid of Buddy Heald when they did, but I'm also oh, biased. He's just a shooter. He doesn't. He doesn't change it. All he can do is shoot. He can't play defense. He's small. So I'm, like, I'm biased. I just want to see him do well. <laughs> you were a Kings fan? I thought you was a Cleveland fan. Oh no, yeah, I'm only biased because I played against him. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Like, yeah, so, oh, so you, it is a De'Aaron Fox. You want to say I beat the NBA yeah. champion? Huh? You want to De'Aaron Fox the NBA? I, I beat an NBA champion. Oh my hey, god! He, he <laughs> what he what a conversation starter. Still. I still beat them in middle school. I'm mad, I'm mad you go to a bar and you tell someone, bro, I'd be De'Aaron Fox, bro, the NBA champion. Bro. You, oh my see that, you see that guy <laughs> carrying the- <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to get any bitches. So I have to <laughs> on that any chance that I get. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you want for De'Aaron Fox. That's crazy. <laughs> That's the only hey Darren Fox. I don't think you get out the first round. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is West is very tough this year. Yeah, I don't know you get out the first round, but that plot stuff's hard. Yeah, you, know, you got to if you make it out the West, you got some plot. Boy, I'm telling you, you got some plot. Well, yeah, I, I'm there. actually an ordained minister, so I will be flying to Sacramento and blessing this court. <laughs> you gonna bless the beam? beam? Bless the what, beam. Yeah, I forgot about that beam thing. It's been so long <laughs> since I heard about the beam. It was hey, last year. Yeah, I know, but it's it just like I feel like it hasn't. But I just feel like no one been talking about the beam. That thing was so big back. Like that was a marketing, oh, shit, just yeah, amazing was... marketing. Yeah. Like like the beam. They had like at the end of the games in the post game, they wouldn't even they wouldn't go to TNT. They wouldn't go to Ernie and none. They had to show the beam first. They show you got to press the button <laughs> and zoom. And look at the outside view. That's crazy. I said, look at that. Good marketing, boy. Them boys, yeah. Genius. I t- yeah. Should be hey the Nuggets. I just picked the Nuggets to make the finals again. Jared, when you get back on here. You get to run it again, you know what I'm saying? We had a whole celebration for Jerry when he won the championship. Cause I have never like everyone, like I said, everyone here, Harrison, you knew a Cleveland fan. I don't know how excited you were when Cleveland won their championship, but like everybody I here cried. besides well, there you go. So oh Marisa, you did see a championship though. You you did beat LeBron. Good job, hey. Pound it, right? You know, pound it. You know, we got some championships, you know. We good for, and then you know, he he saw a champ, he saw his, you know, Dirk won his thing. You know, Astros yeah, won some championship right? Just one. Watch for each finger. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, he a star boy. <laughs> Look at he a star boy. Hey, right? Hey, hey, talking right? Do you think? And we 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 did some memory. So we did some in the summer. Like, how many championships do you have when you add all of it up? Like in all your sports. <laughs> And Marisa, can we, not, can we not do that? Yeah, I was. Yeah, no, he, look, he got rings on his toes. <laughs> Hell it. No, Marisa, yo, killing it though. That man got twelve. <laughs> that man got twelve plus. Boy. That boy's. I'm the star. Good for you, boy. Good thing I have plot. Um, last thing I'm gonna talk about actually is, I'm curious. This is a question I had too. This is something you had to go right real deep in your bag for this, though. Um, I was curious, what is the best playoff series that y'all have ever seen? Playoffs happen in a couple months. I'm just saying, what is the best playoff Ooh, series what a that question. y'all have watched? Like, the, like, would you say, like, because I'm no thinking bias. about, I'm thinking no about like, like, it can't be like, like, oh, because I won. Like, it has to be because it's competitive. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be because it's competitive, high Ooh. stakes. Great Nothing stories. is beating that that, that Kings energy. and Warriors last year. Oh my God! You talk, I'm saying all time. I'm, I'm saying all time. Just, yeah, just but all time is all time. When the, Ooh, when the yeah. Cavs sure came you know. back from three one to win it, I mean, but look, look I'll tell you something about that though. Sure. The first six games were actually terrible. Yeah, it was all blowouts. Game out. seven. Game yeah. seven was the good game. Every first game. Six games oh, so you want to know like like every game like being like like the best series best like game. Like, oh, competitive. Hit, hit the whole hit, way there. Hit, yeah. Because like, because I mean, just like the historic, the, the historic significance just, yeah. of that game is. I don't think nothing's beating that, that Kings and Warriors. That Kings and Warriors boy. Was I'm a, not saying all time, bro, but I don't think that's the best all time. Bro. <laughs> every game was a. Bro. It was good. It was good. But I don't know. It's the greatest. Well, if it's the greatest. If it's the greatest you've ever seen, then that's then that's that's yours. Yeah. That's valid. Like, yeah. Oh, we yeah, can't bring history good. into it. Yeah, you can bring history. Oh. Okay. Yeah, go back in time. Yeah, go back in time. Go Ten back. years. <laughs> Uh, Reese, you I mean, know what I was talking about. Hilarious. Yeah. Um, I think the Miami series, like when, during that LeBron run, there was they got a lot. They had a lot of good ones. The Heat, yeah, they had a lot of good ones. They had the one against the Pacers. The Spurs, Ooh, I was obviously. Say that. The Pacers, the Pacers, uh, that conference. Hey, yeah, man, Reese, I know I hated that one. 
Uh, I hate it now. We got we got them the next year, so it's all right. No, you're you're yeah. fine. You got your plot. I guess they couldn't let right. you go down. They couldn't let you go down too, but they got your plot back. You good, Pete? Um, I got I got really think too because I I I asked that, but like you know I, I need to get a. Because <laughs> 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 uh, uh, yeah, I don't even know. Um, I feel like I'd be one of these Western Conference teams though. Now uh, now if you were like if you really want some basketball purists, the Celtics versus Bulls back in like 2000 like 11. 10, 11, one of years. Oh, Rose Young, there that Rose, seven game, that was that one is probably that was that was that's an outstanding one. Every game close, get buzzer beaters, all type of thing. But I don't want to. Um, I didn't watch that one, so I'm not gonna like put that. This is this is a hard question. Though. What's the best? Let's see. What's the best finals I've ever watched? Let me break it down. What's the best finals? I don't know. A lot of them bad because the Warriors always winning them. <laughs> they always went in six too. Yeah. They always winning them in six, so now they don't hit. The first one had um, like had a lot of potential, but then Kyrie got hurt in game one. Yeah, it kind of derailed from there. Conference finals, I can't say mine because that was terrible. Um, <laughs> I mean, twenty eleven. Twenty eleven. What? You talking about you? Yeah. The, the, I, I mean, that, that's no bias, bias, bro. That that, that, that it's makes a good series, bias. though. And, that's like, and it goes with all. He said it was a heat series. That was a good one. Honestly, it was I, it was it was crazy. It was most shocking because LeBron, like his plot was just, yeah. Uh, Austin, what you about to say? I, I'm I'm thinking, especially like the last. We all stumped. I like how we all stumped. That's funny. Well, uh, you can't go. Did, they sweep the, con- um, did they sweep the thunder? The uh, heat. No, they won two. Four one. Yeah, four one. Okay, it might be it might be Spurs Heat. It might, I don't it know. I'm thinking be. it might be Spurs Heat. It might be. Yeah, I'm thinking 2013 that or or the 2010 Lakers Celtics. Oh. That, that that that's a lot of story significance. Yeah, that, that, that's with a good the one. Kevin, I think Kevin. those two like yeah. they really like just pop out because, like you said, you know, with the Warriors. I mean, you know, the 16 was kind of you know, but that was because of Game Seven. What, what, what y'all think about Warriors Thunder? The three the ones. Yeah, that series. Oh, Katie, no. that, that game six clay. We can't, we can't, Katie we can't, him. we can't. That's that's disqualified. Yeah. Everyone, somebody's a promising player's like, legacy. Bro. Go back and like rewatch that, knowing that like yeah, KD just jumped ship right after that. It's like bro, yeah, yeah. That, that, we know we know too much. We know we know what right, happens right. next. Like that's what, the oh, this this one's an under underrated one. The Cavs versus Pacers, but this is a uh, 2018 when Oladipo versus LeBron. And boy, them boys, them back the back and forth in that series when you actually thought LeBron was actually going to lose in the first round, but LeBron hitting buzzer beaters and blocks at the end and this and that. That's an underrated series. That that that's one of them series. Okay, now this wasn't really a competitive. This wasn't that competitive, but entertain that whole 2018 LeBron run, LeBronto. I knew he was about to say that. Randomly, like that. What was I think game three? He hit like that bank shot. Um, yeah. They didn't pick him up full court, and apparently uh, Masai Ujiri went in there and like cussed out Dwayne Casey for like, <laughs> how did she? Who knew what was gonna happen? And then you know, shit just went down from there. But uh, that plus yeah. tough, yeah. That that that's that was that was very entertaining. But yeah, I think hey, you know, we all we all got a little stumps in, but I think 2013. I mean, for me, I'm really thinking this is actually really hard. It's harder than I thought it'd be. I feel like I'm missing something. Like Buck Celtics was pretty good. Like a couple years ago with uh, Jason Tatum versus Giannis, that was pretty good. That's when Giannis didn't have uh, Chris Milton. That was, you know, that was pretty good series. But yeah, you talking about when Grant Williams was locking him up or trying to lock him up? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, hey, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Grant Williams um, took 18 threes in games. So yeah, hit seven. Yeah, he hit. Him. Yeah. <laughs> that <was hilarious. laughs> that's, that's it. And we gave him a whole bag off that shit. <laughs> Give me that shit back. <laughs> Give me that shit back, Grant. <laughs> I thought the Dallas were getting off of them very quickly. They they realized, yeah, yeah, bro, we did, yeah, we we showed it because he couldn't do nothing else. <laughs> he do nothing. But shoot. a Spurs versus Warriors was supposed to be 2017. Spurs Warriors was supposed to be that well, series, but with Kawhi Leonard, why? Well, that was supposed why? to be man. That was... I know earlier we were yeah. talking about series like Ooh. the finals thing, but also I mean that 20 that second round series in 2019 between Philly and um, Philly and Toronto. That was oh, oh, that shot. Was, oh, yeah, oh, shot, right. yeah. but just that, oh, one, that was a good one. Triple that one. game, I think it was game four, game five. Kawhi dropped like that 30. was a green one. Yeah, that yeah, that was un- yeah. Actually, that was you know what? Nasty. That might be. Look, look I'm telling you, I, my favorite postseason like to watch was 2019. 
Because Kawhi Leonard's Raptors were so entertaining. He'd be funny, and he's funny, but he's not trying to. So, like, that also helps his laughter. And then, what it do, baby? Like, all that. That was great. <laughs> Those were great beefs in the 2019 season. And then, see, and then when he played <laughs> the Sixers, and then I'm that game seven, guy. bro. See, all these, you see all these one-liners, that boy's cooking with one-liners. He's not even trying to. And this man with that doink, doink, in. Bro, that, the that's, only, that's, that's the only game that's seven watching your plot and, and beat is just like looking back at it. And that's ooh, watching man. your plot in slow motion, Jesse. That's that was Joel and B. Like, I ain't gonna never win it. They were so close. And yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Jimmy Butler, that was a Jimmy Butler. Jimmy um, Butler, yeah. Jimmy Butler. Yeah. What a terrible. They paid, uh, what did they pay? Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris instead of Jimmy Butler. What a fucking, uh, what a, wow. Yeah, that boys ruined their process, boy. They pro- the oh, process man, fell boy, apart. <laughs> I think I think that would be my number one because that was one like the, all the games were competitive, and then I, I expected the Raptors to win because I'm just thinking I was thinking in a plot perspective. Like I just expect I didn't expect the Sixers to be in the conference finals. I just said Raptors Bucks made sense to me, but that game seven I was like, oh I don't know, this is yeah. close. But then when 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 Kawhi caught the ball, I don't know. I, I might be on my LeBron stuff, and it might be a complete lie. But I was thinking, I might see something crazy right here. <laughs> like, I'm, this, about, this might actually go in. Atlanta Sixers, when Trey that? Young got to the conference finals, what was that? That was that was, that was good. Yeah, 2021. Yeah. 2021. Mm. That was good and terrible at the same time because I did mm. not. <laughs> yeah, we, I, no, I was like, bro, what the? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Like, yeah, at was, all. Yeah. What is happening, bro? Like, I, I would have been cool with us. Like, oh, we lost him, but like, oh shit, we actually beat them, and then put up a valiant fight against the Bucks until Trey. I lost. Hey, look, I, I, there was a point yeah. I was like, I was like yo, the Hawks. Yeah, the Hawks gonna yeah. make the finals. I know that don't make no sense. What about the old Atlanta teams with uh like Marvin Williams, Jamal Crawford, Jeff T? They had a good series. Remember when they remember they had four all stars? Oh yeah, twenty fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, the sixty okay, nine. So did, did did y'all play the the magic in one of those runs with the with Prime Dwight? No, no, no. Now you probably yeah we going back. That's yeah, going some eight, oh nine. That's some oh nine type stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we going back. No, they, they uh their most competitive series was against the Wizards. I remember the Wizards oh, game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We would have lost to the Wizards. John Wall broke his hand and we were able to squeak Paul out. Paul Pierce. I think Paul. Well, who, no, yeah, Paul Pierce. Yeah, Paul, Paul Pierce. Pierce uh, called, up Toronto, but, game. Yeah, he called game. Yeah. yeah. Hey. No, y'all won't know, but that was that was something. Yo, I got I got to look back at these playoff series, bro. I was going to ask y'all originally what's y'all favorite game, but I think that's just too deep. Like, your brain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> really? that's what I mean, bro. 80, 82 oh, games a season plus. I'm going I'm to have to be, I have no choice but to be buying it from <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hey, next time I'll be on here, I'm going to ask y'all what's y'all favorite game. Really look. Lock in. <laughs> I really oh, look. Uh, game that's seven, crazy. Game hey. 7, 2021. Mavericks and <laughs> the Suns, we beat them that's like hilarious. 60. That's, that's it's so hilarious. It was Chris Paul hits a three to cut the lead. It was 20. hilarious, bro. We did like <laughs> sixty. I can't believe that. That man Luke had same amount of points as the as the Suns at halftime. Oh yes, it was it was nasty. I said, boy, this plus stuff that crazy, boy. And it had the meme, but that man Devin Booker looking up and Luca. And it was and it was up two old, bro. It was crazy. That's, that, that that's that Chris Paul effect, boy. Don't be up two old when you got Chris Paul on your team. I tell CP you, bro, like. Zero. I see that Devin Booker meme. I said, I know his plot terrible. A couple of things. If you're up 2-0, if you have a Chris Paul-led team, you're going to lose. If you're up 2-1 facing the Warriors, you're going to lose. I don't know why, but every time you're up 2-1 facing the Warriors, especially in the finals, you lose the next three games. You don't even win another game. You just lose the next three. LeBron and Jason Tatum both suffered this terrible loss multiple times. It is pretty funny, actually. Um, I, I know the plot. I know the script. I know... I'll tell you like this. If I look at the playoff picture, you, you just tell me who's going to be in the playoffs and what's the seed. I tell you who won the championship. I told you I was going to win the championship in football. I already knew the Chiefs going to win the whole thing. That's why I didn't want to play them. I, I already knew. I already knew a long time. Casey, like, bro, I want to play the Chiefs. For what? No, 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 no. And look what happened. Be everybody. So you tell me, if you show me who's going to be and what who's the one seed, two seed, three seed, I'm going to tell you exactly who's going to win. I should put bets for this because I know the plot. They gave me the script. I know the plot. Hey, when it when it comes time. I dabble in a little bit of gambling if you would like to take bets. Tell me what the Cowboys gonna finish or the, or the Kings gonna finish. I'm no, I'm talking about. He who said he said he said who gonna win the championship. He can tell oh, me that's one, a, that's two, a, or three. But I'm gonna bet against whatever you say against you. Hey, look, you taking a field? <laughs> <laughs> you just think like 
think, okay, just think, and Marisa, you just think, when have I been wrong about who's going to win? I'm not going to lie to you. If football has been one of two Chiefs, Chiefs, I knew it. I knew it. I told y'all last year, Jared knows, and I told y'all this year, y'all know. Yeah. If you look at basketball, I knew the Nuggets going to win. I knew the Warriors going to win. There was no way the Celtics were going to beat the Warriors. I just I just looked. I was like, why would Jason Tatum win right here? It got to be Steph Curry's championship. Right? He got to <laughs> win his spouse every feet. I just know the flop. So I just knew that. Who won before that? Script. The Bucks. Bucks. The Bucks. Oh, they faced it. Chris Paul. Come on now. Who, who won? <laughs> <laughs> Bubble LeBron. That's, a, that's the Lakers. Oh, the, Lakers as, soon the Lakers, as soon as the Clippers yeah. blew a 3-1 lead, I said, oh, this is – that boy, it's money, 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 money. It's easy at that point. <laughs> I, I tell you, I know the plot. I have been right every year. And the only, the only thing is I root for other people. Like, I root against the Warriors, but I know the Warriors going to win. I was rooting heavily for the Celtics, but I knew the Warriors going to win. But I, I'm able to, like, pinpoint every one of these. The only one I've gotten wrong was 2016 Cavs. Because I just didn't expect that level of like plot to happen. I just expect the dynasty to go. That's the only one I've been wrong. I've been right every single time. So, yeah. hey, you better I mean, get the field, bro. That's nice, yeah. Who, who won that year that you were wrong? Me. <laughs> you want to get? <laughs> that was go. the first year that I cried since I was a child. I remember and sitting in. To see. I was sitting in my room and I was watching the TV, and as soon as we won. I remember waking my mother up from sleep and saying, Cleveland finally did it with tears streaming down my face. I my went, God. I drove, I drove to my grandparents' home. Is the only time I've ever cried in front of my grandfather. And I was like, we did it. Wait, I was happy for you, bro. <laughs> I was happy for you. I did not like Golden State, boy. I was happy. I said, that plot is outstanding. But after that, I saw Katie went there. I said, oh, raps. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's all raps. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I'm done now. Yeah. No, hey, y'all fooled me, though, because in 2017, y'all were beating everybody in the East. Y'all had, and then you had Darren Williams looking good. You had all these players looking good. And I was like, okay, maybe they can compete. Them boys got blitzed. It was so stupid because that 2017 team was better than the 2016 team. It's just, was it, back, Katie. wasn't 2017 the year with uh, the J.R. Smith where he's like, no, that's 2018. That's, that's 2018. 2018. Okay. That's I, I, that's that that's that that's that crazy yeah, point. Yeah. That man don't even know the score. We we the game paused. <laughs> that man <laughs> that man shooting yeah, free throws. That man don't know the score. Like, real, real. Boy, yeah, y'all can't tell me, but I know who go with, bro. There's no way this man really did that in the game one. In that game, with the with the clock paused, and he a professional player. He been a professional player for ten plus years. It that's sent funny. him back to college. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. It to a different a sport. Higher, yeah. A different sport. <laughs> made him get a higher education. Honestly, I'm happy for him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but hey, y'all. Hey, this was fun. We're going to put some more NBA content for you guys, right? Obviously, the games are happening now. We're back. So we're going to see what's happening. I'm going to watch these games. We're all going to watch these games. And hopefully, we'll see what happens. Like I said, I know who's going to win. Just tell me. Just tell. Just show me what's happening. Just show me the structure of it. Show me who's going to be this seed, that seed. I got you. And Harris, you bet against me. I've been wrong once. And the only reason I was wrong because they down three one. Who gonna freaking come back up down three one? Team. Like, why would I? Why would I bet? Against you. I'm only betting against you because if you place your own bet, no one has worse plot than I do. I'm a Cleveland fan, so you gotta get it. <laughs> and, and Marisa, and you've been around with this ride. You know I'm right a lot, yeah. and especially come to football. I'll tell you who gonna win next year: the Chiefs. <laughs> She's winning. You don't think the three feet happen? It's happening. I, I just said it. It's happening. <laughs> it's, it's, it's scripted, scripted Dan. Yeah. We're gonna no have team to has ever done it. They got to be the first sports. ones. It's happening. I'm telling you. I see the plot. They'll be the freaking seventh seed. They win somehow. Um, <laughs> you know who they play? Who going to play? I don't know. No, I don't. Yeah, don't yeah, he yeah. wanted to say. Uh, <laughs> 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 don't, don't, don't say nothing now. Uh, Man, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more podcasts. And yeah, we're going to catch you guys on the next podcast. We're out of here. And also, shout out. We hit 600 subscribers as well. Shout out to that. Hey. Now we out of here. Shout out. Peace. Peace.